health advocates. I was just taking a second to think about our course and all that we've learned and wow, we have covered so much. Each unit we've taken a look at a different element of health and explored how we can implement healthier choices into our lifestyles. At the end of each unit, we've taken a look at how to advocate for a certain health topic. By now, you should have a solid definition of what advocacy means. However, advocacy in the context of relationships looks uh, a little bit different. In fact, what if I told you there were examples of advocacy in relationships throughout this whole unit? By the end of today's lesson, you will be able to define advocacy in the context of relationships and describe ways to advocate for yourself and others in relationships. Are you ready, advocates? Let's get into it. Advocacy means actively supporting a cause you believe in. So how do we apply this to our relationships? Let's start by exploring self-advocacy. Remember when I set a boundary with Justin about all those texts and calls about his roommate? And also when Justin spoke with his roommate about keeping the laundry area clean? These are both examples of self-advocacy. With this in mind, how would you define self-advocacy in a relationship? Take a second to write down your thoughts in your notes. Since advocating means supporting a cause that you believe in, the cause in question here is you. Self-advocacy means expressing and upholding your own needs and boundaries in a relationship. When I expressed to Justin that I needed a break from his texts, we reached a compromise and we're both happier for it. In fact, knowing that I can talk to Justin about a boundary or a need makes our friendship feel stronger. We trust each other to communicate, just like Justin and his roommate communicate now too. There's a need for self-advocacy in every relationship. Self-advocacy is a skill. Sometimes it's hard to speak up about a need not being met. However, you're worth the effort. How you feel is important and shouldn't be pushed away, especially in relationships with friends, family, or romantic partners. Now that we've got a good grasp on self-advocacy, let's look at how we can advocate for others. As you learn to advocate for yourself, you also start to build skills that help you advocate for others in a relationship. You might have an idea of what this means already. Can you think of any moments from this unit that might reflect advocating for others? Let's look at some examples to see if we can figure out a solid definition. Justin told me about how his sister asked for some help when she was feeling lonely, and about that time when her teammates were pressuring her to skip soccer practice. Based on these examples and what we already know about advocacy, what does it mean to advocate for someone else in your relationship? Take a moment to write down your thoughts in your notes. I'll bet you've got something similar to this. Advocating for others in a relationship means supporting and promoting another's needs and well-being. Let's check out a few ways Justin advocated for his sister. Justin has been through times where he felt lonely and when he felt pressured by friends. So he let Sophie know that he understood exactly what she was going through. Sometimes just being there for someone, offering a listening ear or a comforting presence can be incredibly supportive. In this situation, Sophie asked for Justin's help. He felt equipped to give advice and he offered some great suggestions. Just like how I helped Justin with his roommate situation. Guiding someone to resources or offering to stand by them during difficult conversations can be a powerful form of advocacy. It shows that you've got the other person's back. Validating that you're here for them helps strengthen the relationship over time. As we've explored self-advocacy and advocacy for others, I want you to know that these skills extend beyond our personal relationships and into the wider community. Engaging in community advocacy means 
taking what we've learned about supporting ourselves and others and applying it to broader societal issues. Whether it's volunteering or supporting local causes, your advocacy can contribute to positive change in your community. It empowers you to be an active participant in shaping the world around you. Thank you for joining me on this health journey. I'm so proud of all the work that you've done. Building a healthy lifestyle is a lifelong journey, and I know we'll both keep working to live our best, healthiest lives. I'm Caroline, and remember, prioritizing your health is a choice you make every day, and it's worth it. So keep building that healthy lifestyle, take care, and I'll see you later. Hey.